Action 7 News was there when a downpour flooded Santa Fe County this week, causing a lot of damage. A winery was soaked and it could affect our harvest, but tonight, Laura Terrain shows us why the owners are still celebrating. It was a rainstorm that pounded Santa Fe earlier this week. Action 7 News was the only camera on the ground when emergency crews set up this command center to coordinate road closures and swift water rescue. And just a block away, more disaster. A clogged culvert sent water, mud, and debris into a vineyard, flooding out the grapevines. So my husband woke up and he took a look, and all of this was covered in silt. So in the middle of the night, Eileen Rinders, her husband, and their staff started the massive cleanup. The main thing for us was getting the winery open, not interrupting business. Business that was about to get a huge boost in publicity. What the Rinders didn't know is that while they were trying to save their grapes, pond, and patio, their Estrella del Norte vineyard was chosen as 2014's best winery by the Santa Fe Reporter. Woot, woot, we were really excited. Talk about a great reward for the honor of a hard day's work. It was great. These grapes aren't ripe yet. They won't be ready for harvest until late September when they turn purple. And that's when the Rinders tell me they'll really know how devastating this flood was. Till then, the Rinders say they're basking in their new title and the calm after the storm. Laura Terrain, KOAT, Action 7 News. As for the culvert, the Rinders say they have spoken to their local representative who is working to make sure the drain is cleared before another major storm comes.